Hi, herzlich willkommen uh, to our new online seminar about the scholarship programs of the DID. My name is Salha Neja. I work for the DID office and we will spend now the next 60 minutes together. So I think our today's, um, our today's online seminar is a very um, famous online seminar, which is um, very demanded. And um, that's why we have today lots of uh, attendees and we are very happy about it. So what will we do? I will give you first of all some information, general information about, uh, about the DAD, general information about our scholarship uh, philosophy, and then we will have a deeper look um, about the different programs we offer in the different levels. So we will begin with the programs for the undergraduate program for uh, the master level for PhD students, and then we will end uh, with the programs for professors and postdocs. And you will have, meanwhile, the possibility to ask all your questions you have. So um, the chat will rest open, and I have already seen that you have already written lots of comments or questions there. And we will, um, I will read the questions loudly and try to, to answer as much questions as possible. Um, if the time will permit, uh, we will also have the possibility to, to listen to, to your questions. So there will be maybe the possibility to activate some microphones of you and listen to your questions uh, in the live. Um, one other information is that you will have at the end also the opportunity to download uh, a brochure. So we have a brochure about our scholarship programs. It will be available for, uh, for, for the download at the end of the seminar. And one last information before I begin, our online seminar is now recorded and will be available in a couple of days on our YouTube channel. So if you want to listen to parts of this online seminar once again, because maybe it wasn't so clear, then there's this possibility. You can send the link to friends or family. Um, and maybe if you do not have the time to attend the whole online seminar, then this opportunity is uh, maybe uh, something very good for you. So let's have a look on our content of today. This will, be, um, this will be the three points we will see. And let's begin, first of all, with the first point, the DAD, our organization that we represent. So, first of all, DAD is an abbreviation, a German abbreviation, which means Deutscher Akademischer Austauschdienst. German Academic Exchange Service. We are an independent organization and our members are university, research institutes, but also student bodies. And on this nice picture, you can see one of our buildings in the headquarters in Bonn. Bonn is the former capital of Germany. And we also have an, um, another um, office in, in Berlin, in the uh, capital of Germany, and lots of other structures all over the world, available in more than 60 countries. So we have regional offices, with, which are big structures. We have information centers and we have, we have small structures like the information points. And we are also very proud and happy to be one of the biggest scholarship organizations worldwide. So in 2020, we offered for about 135 um, scholarships for Germans to go abroad all over the world in order to study or research there. And also on the other um, direction, we offered scholarships for foreigners to come to Germany in order to study or research there. So change by exchange, we, uh, we, we support ex exchange in both sides. What we have in our region, there is um, a regional office um, which is uh, located in Tunis, in the capital of Tunisia. And we are a regional office not only responsible for Tunisia, but also for Libya, Algeria and Morocco. Uh, besides our office, we also have lectures and language assistants. Um, they are located in Tunisia, Algier and also in Morocco. And lectures represent the DAD. They teach normally German language at uh, Maghrebinian University and 
at the same time they represent the DAD, they give information about study and research in Germany, they give information about um, scholarship programs of the DAD and so on. And our activities are really very diverse. So first of all, our main activity is that we offer information about study and research in Germany. We do it online and we do it also offline. So if a university, for example, or an institute of faculty um, organizes a certain event and we are invited, we go there directly. But we are also present at, for example, fairs, student fairs, um, we, um, we go to schools if they invite us and we also offer regularly online seminars uh, uh, like, like today. We, uh, we invite sometimes German universities to present their university. We, we have uh, different topics like our today's topic always related about study and research and scholarship programs uh, from the DAD. We also give consultings for university institutions because the DAD has a large number of um, cooperation programs. We fund uh, lots of different uh, corporations uh, in the whole Maghreb uh, together with German universities and we offer here our consultings, we um, give advices, we, uh, we, we do sometimes some matchmaking if it's possible and so on. There's also, um, there are also uh, lots of events we organize during the whole year um, for different fields, for different target groups, um, always with the focus of, um, of uh, the academic world. And um, there are also some trainings we offer for advanced students, but also for uh, university teachers and, um, and the academic staff. So, Lots of different activities uh, which are offered here in the region. Let's continue now with our funding programs. So first of all, you need to understand that we as a DID, we have two tracks where we offer our uh, programs. There are individual scholarships and there are university cooperation programs. For the individual scholarship, we offer um, uh, mobility. It means that you, as a student, as a researcher, as a PhD student, and as a professor or postdoc, you can apply for our programs independently from your institution. So you find a program that uh, suits, for example, to your profile, and you say, well, it, it fits to me, and I would like to apply for it. And we have different programs for different levels and also for different fields and disciplines. These are the individual scholarships, which we will see today. There's also a second track, which we will not treat today. These are the university cooperation programs. Here we have different programs. Normally they are long-term programs for a, a duration of four years, where two uh, partners, two university partners, a German university partner and, for example, a Tunisian or Algerian um, university partner could um, come together and um, create uh, different, different issues together, always in the framework of um, teaching or uh, doing research. And uh, in this case, um, uh, there is a possibility to get, uh, to get funding for mobility, but also for lots of other aspects. And we will not able to have a look today on the university cooperation programs, but we will focus only on the first track. These are the individual scholarships. And as you can see here on our overview, we offer programs for different fields. And we would like to begin now with the first, um, with the first level. Um, these are the undergraduates. And the first program I would like to introduce you today are the university summer language courses. So these are programs for young students um, who want to get to know Germany for a short stay and want also to learn some German. So it's very important that you have at least some German level, some German knowledge. It means if you are not from the German field, then you need to have at least the A2 level. If you are studying German, then you need to have at least the B1 level and then you can apply for it. It's important that you are not in the first year 
because we believe that you need to understand, first of all, your um, your university life before going abroad. So if you are in the second year, then you can apply for it and you need to be a student. So this program is not uh, available for PhD students or for, for postdocs. And um, it's a program which is open to all fields. So you need to have some German knowledge. This is the only, um, this is the only requirement. And you will then benefit from a short stay at a German university during four or five weeks. Um, you will uh, learn intensively German, the German language. You will also have some civilization. You will have the possibility to, to, to do some excursions and so on. And the next application deadline will be this year. It will be normally in the 1st of December. Uh, 2023 and uh, the program will be normally available um, from uh, September. So there are still some months. So if you are interested in this program and for example, you do not have uh, enough German language, then maybe it could be an idea to learn intensively now German to get an A2 level from now until um, uh, the end of uh, November. Next, um, next uh, study, uh, program, scholarship program, is also a program for undergraduates, and these are the uh, well-known study visits. So here, um, we can fund a study trip for a group of students. It could be maximum a maximum group of fifteen students who should be accompanied by a university teacher from your country, from your university. It's very important that we have here a homogeneous group. So you should be uh, 15 students from the same field, from the same um, university, of course, um, from the same promotion. Um, you need to have a similar uh, language level, for example, a good English level and so on. So it's important to have a homogeneous group that, the, that there could be also some activities. You need to visit at least two German universities, but there should be also um, other activities like the visit of a fair, like the visit of a company. So there are lots of um, um, different activities you, you can do. And here it's not the students who could apply, but the, um, the, the teacher who will accompany you. So um, it's the university teacher who will apply for this program and you find here the link where um, the application could be done. And we have um, three application deadlines available for every year and for this year there are still two um, application deadlines that are open. It's the 1st of May and the 1st of November. So there are still some possibilities and opportunities to, uh, to take. And the duration of the funding will be between seven and 12 days. It depends on the program that you will prepare. So as I've said, uh, at least two universities should be visited, but there are lots of other um, aspects and, and ideas that you can include in your program. So this was the first, um, the first, um, the, 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 these were the programs for the undergraduates. Let's continue now with the programs for the master level. You need to know that we do not offer here in this field or in this level um, programs that are available for all fields. But you can see we have here eight programs for about different uh, for about eight different programs in different fields. And I would like to introduce you now the different programs. So COSPI is a program which is well known. It's not a whole master program, but it's a program uh, in order to do your PFÖ, your final um, semester, if you're an engineering student um, at a German university. So we can fund here a period of six months at a German university in order to do your project and to finalize uh, your, your project there. We have four German university partners who are implied in this program and where you can apply for it. And um, for this year, the application deadline is still running. So there are still two and a half weeks to, um, to, to apply for this program. So the conditions is that you are from Tunisia 
and that you are enrolled in a Tunisian um, uh, engineering school and um, that you are currently in the second year. Why second year? Because if you are now in the second year, we will then um, prepare the, um, the, we will get then your application and we will then prepare the selection and we'll have normally the results in July, then there are still some preparations to do, for example, the visa um, procedure and so on. And then you could, you could begin by the, the end, uh, by the beginning of the new year 2024. And uh, in the beginning of the new year 2024, you will be in the third year and you will be then in the position to do your PFU. That, that's why you need to be an engineering student in the second year. The next program I would like to introduce you here is a very new program. It's our newest program. It's a program in green hydrogen and only green hydrogen. This is open for international master students coming from Tunisia or Morocco. And if you want to do a whole master or um, maybe um, you're only this thesis of your master or an, uh, a self-organized uh, internship in the framework of your master, then you can apply for this program. It always be, uh, should be um, in the framework of the green hydrogen. So this is the condition and then you can apply for it. So because we have here different um, possibilities to apply, there are also different um, different duration. So if you will apply for a whole master, then um, you can get a, you could get a funding for a maximum period of 24 months. But if you will do an internship or if you want to do your master's thesis there, then the duration is of course uh, a little bit smaller. And the application deadline is also um, uh, very soon. So we still have, we, we have two and a half weeks here also for about to apply for this program, but normally this program would also be um, available once again in the month of September. Then we have a very special program for a special field. It's a master program for foreign graduates in the field of architecture and different kind of arts. And if you have already done your first degree in your home country with excellent uh, results, then you can apply for a master program at a German university, which could be a master program in German or a master program in English. And um, the duration is here between 12 and 24 months. It, depend on the, it depends on the master program you will choose because we have one year master programs and two year master programs. And we have different deadlines. Most of them will be in next autumn. So for architecture, for example, it will be in September 13th. And uh, for the different arts levels, so we have programs in music, in performing arts, in, uh, in design, in visual communication. We have different um, deadlines all between September and November. So let's continue now with the next program. It's also a very nice program, this, the so-called Helmut Schmidt program. It's a master scholarship program for all those who want to work in public policy and good governance. And this program is designed to further qualify future leaders in politics, law, economics, and in administration. So if you are interested in this field, if you are active in the civil society, if you are interesting to do um, some um, to do some um, um, some work in, in the political life then this um, this program could be interesting for you you need to have a first degree in your home country with really excellent grades and then you can apply for this program so we offer here eight different programs at eight different universities six programs are completely taught in english one program is completely taught in German and one program is a mix between German and English. So you can check uh, on our scholarship database um, the different, uh, the eight different programs we offer and um, we will get uh, the call very soon normally. It will be the 1st of June and then you will have the possibility to apply latest on 31st of July. So every year between the 1st June and 31st of July you can apply for this program.
Then we have a very special program. This is not a program for students, but this is a program for young professionals. If you have already finished your first degree and you are now working at a company regularly, not as an internee or, a, or only uh, some hours, but we always really need someone who is now working and you have at least one and a half year working experience, then you can check whether we have a program in the framework of the EPOS um, courses. We offer here 40 for about 40 different programs at different universities in different fields, always related to the development of a country. And um, you need to check if, uh, if um, um, between these 40 programs, there is a program there that, that fits to your profile, and if so, you can apply for this uh, program. As I've said, you need to have some working experience and this is only the case for this program. It's not the case for the other programs, of course. This is only for this special program. And we have here different durations. It depends on the master program you will choose because there are master programs which dures one year. It's the minority, it's, uh, it's right. And then we have lots of programs which uh, dure um, 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 two years, 24 months. And the application deadline is very different. It, for each program, there are different regulations, uh, different, um, 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 uh, different deadlines. And that's why you need to check for each programs, for each program, what uh, is um, the, the, the condition. This is a program only for those who are working in uh, the German, who are, who are studying German language. And um, it's a nice program because we offer it together with the German Jordanian University in Amman, in Jordan, Urdun. And, um, and you will have here the possibility to do um, the first uh, in the second and fourth semester in Amman and the third semester at the German partner university, uh, which could be, for example, München or Hamburg, or there are different destinations. And um, you can apply for it if you have finished your first degree in German language in your home country with excellent degrees and if you have at least the B2 level. And uh, the duration of the funding will be two years and application deadline is now opened until the 1st of June. So it's, uh, I think, a nice um, opportunity to get um, to, to, to prepare yourself. You have still some uh, weeks to do it. And we will offer a special online seminar um, uh, on May 8th. Uh, where we will invite responsible persons who will introduce this program and we will also invite one or two testimonials, Tunisian testimonials or Maghrebinian testimonials more, who will talk about their experience as scholarship holders. So these were the programs for the master level. Let's continue now with the programs for the PhD level. First of all, our regular program we offer, this is the program Research Grants. This is a program which is now open to all fields. We do not have restrictions as we have seen it for the master level. If you have finished your master degree and, uh, you, um, and you have already, um, you, you want to do a PhD in Germany or parts of your PhD in Germany, then you can apply for this program. As all scholarship programs from the DAD, you need to have excellent degrees in the master level uh, because we are looking for excellent students. And we offer here four different types for the scholarship program. We have the possibility to fund a full PhD. So if you uh, have finished your master, you still uh, haven't begun with your um, with your PhD, then you can apply for a full PhD um, in, uh, in Germany. Um, there's a possibility to apply to what we call the bi-nationally supervised program. It means that you will have different states, alternating states between Germany and your home country, and uh, you will then have a graduation 
either in your home country or in Germany. It depends if there's it depends on if there is a convention between your university or not. Then we have the program one year grant. It means that you are enrolled um, at a German university. Uh, at, at, a, at, at your home university, I'm sorry, and you will go then for a year um, to German, always in the framework of your PhD. And the fourth and last type we have is the short term, uh, short term stay at Germany. You will here benefit from a short stay at a German university between one and six months, and you need to be enrolled in your home country, of course. Application deadline will be as every year, the summer 31st of August. So if you're interested in this program, I really ask you to have a closer look on our scholarship database that you can see here. Um, this is the link scholarship database funding minus guide point de and um, my colleague will write it in the chat that you can copy the link. There you will find all the scholarship programs. But if you are interested in this program, just have a closer look on the program research grant. Um, choose one of the four types we offer and read it carefully and have a closer look on which programs we, uh, which documents we, um, we demand. And so you can prepare yourself because you will need to have um, a research proposal. You will need to have an invitation letter from a German host lab. So these are documents which are really um, not so easy to get and they need some time to in order to prepare everything. Next program is a program that we offer with the, together with the German Aerospace Center, the DLR Zentrum. Um, it's a special research fellowship um, for the field space, aeronautics, energy, and also transportation. So it's not open to all fields, but we have here these four um, um, aspects. And um, you can apply for a whole PhD uh, of three years from this program. And we have always um, current offers on, on this website. You can see here dad.de slash dlr. Um, you find all the current office, uh, offers uh, proposed by the different DLR centers in, in Germany and you need to check whether there is a program that fits to your profile. So there's no fixed application deadline because we regularly get, um, get the offers and they are all available on this link here. We have also in the PhD level um, the program Green Hydrogen, the program they, that I've already presented for the master level. So we offer it for different levels. And here we see it once again for doctoral students. You can benefit here from, um, from a du maximum duration of 24 months, means two years. So you need to be enrolled normally in your home country and then continue for a period of two years. Uh, at a German host lab, it could be a university or a research center, but you could also apply for a small internship between two and three months. It's important that you work in the field of green hydrogen. This is, of course, the, um, the condition, and then you can apply for it. We have here a very comfortable situation because there's no application deadline. You can um, submit your application at any time, but you need to have at least um, uh, to, to submit it at least four months before the planned starting date that uh, there is still um, enough time to do the selection. And we will now continue with the last level, the postdoc level. So here is our famous program, um, Research Stays for University Academics and Scientists. We can fund a short stay for um, German, uh, for, for foreign um, professors, for foreign university teachers and researchers. Um, at a German university. So these persons need to be linked to a university or research center in their home country. You need to have finished already your PhD and then you can apply for it, uh, for, a, uh, for, for a stay at a German university or research center. It's for a short stay between one and three months and application deadline will also be uh, on the 31st of August, 2023. And um, 
for this program is the same thing as for the PhD program. There are some documents that need to, to be prepared and maybe the most important uh, document or it's not the most important, but it's maybe a document which is a little bit difficult to get if you do not have contacts to Germany. That's why it's very important that you um, prepare yourself uh, from now on if you are interested in this program because you will also need an invitation letter from a German host lab. You will need your research um, a proposal which is based on the short stay that will be done in Germany and so on. Then we have a special program for our former scholarship holders. So if you have already benefit, benefited from, um, from, a, from a stay, from a, from a scholarship from the DID uh, with, an, um, with a period for at least six months, then you can apply for a short for a short stay at a German university or research lab. Um, we have here the same duration, one to three months, same deadline, 31st of August 2023, and um, the same conditions normally. And here we will also find further information on our scholarship database that I will give you later on. Next program we have here, we have already seen it, it's uh, once again the DLR program, which uh, is the research fellowship uh, in space, aeronautics, energy and transportation. And um, we have seen this program for the PhD level, but this program is also offered for postdocs or junior researchers for, um, and also for senior researchers. And the duration depends here on what you will or what you intend to do. So it could be uh, between six and 24 months for postdocs and between one and three months for senior researchers. We have here the same um, situation. We um, have different um, calls um, that are regularly uh, um, uh, presented. Uh, on the on the deadline on the website you can see here I will mark it for you once again dird.de slash dlr you find all current offers there and you need to check whether there is a program that fits to your profile. And once again the program for the green hydrogen so we have seen it for the master level we have seen it for the PhD level and we offer this program also for international postdocs uh, postdocs who want to have a short stay or a long stay in Germany so we could fund here um, a, a, a stay between 1 and 24 months um, for a research fellowship. And um, as I've already said, the program Green Hydrogen is only open uh, for in our Maghreb countries for Tunisia and for Morocco. And here's also a good news. We do not have an application deadline. You can submit at any time um, and always at least four months before your um, planned stay should begin. So, this was already the last program I've presented to you. So as you can see, it's a large portfolio with different programs for different fields and different levels. And I hope that there was um, a program that, uh, that, that, is, that could be interesting for you. Now I would like to give you some information about our selection procedure. So um, first of all, we uh, normally have a um, two selection procedure. We do the pre-selection in the Maghreb um, with the formal uh, selection, of course, and the final selection is done in Bonn. Um, one other information is that it's not the DRD who decides about awarding a scholarship or not, but we have experts, uh, university partner, uh, uh, partners, professors, and of course, also our alumni, our former scholarship holders who support us and who take part in, uh, in our selection procedure. So who are, who, who decides normally about uh, awarding a scholarship or not. And the main criteria we have, and we have already, I've already mentioned it several times today, is first of all, the academic qualification. We are really looking for excellent students, for excellent PhD candidates and postdocs, for excellent professors. So excellence is very important for us. That's why we have a very close look to, um, to the academic qualification. Um, if you need to submit a research proposal, this is also a key document if you want. It's very important. We have a look on it. It could not be a, 
a research proposal which is written by your professor, for example, this could not be examined. But besides the, um, the, besides the research um, or the ac academic qualification and, uh, and, and uh, the excellence, we also have a closer look on your personality, on the social skills. We have a closer look on your CV and see whether there are also some extracurricular activities or if you are only concentrated on your university. So um, these are also very important aspects. And last but not least, the language skills. So if you want to do research or study in Germany, there are two languages which could be important. It's either German or English. And in both cases, we need a very high level because you will do your study there. You will um, have the same conditions like the like the German um, like the German students, and that's why it's really important that there is um, there is a high level of uh, the language. So now I have prepared you here some further links and uh, important uh, information. So we have we have seen all the scholarship programs. And I've tried to, um, to, to give you an overview for each program, but the detailed description is only available on our scholarship database. This is the link here I've marked in green and my colleague will write it immediately in the chat box that you can only click on it and you will find it. It's in German and in English. And um, as I've said, all the detailed description of all programs are available on this link and also um, the application location because we have an uh, we have an uh, portal an electronic portal where you can do your application and it's um, accessibly uh, through this link also so this is maybe today our most important link all new information all new calls all opportunities about study and research in germany about scholarship programs and about uh, new opportunities are available on our website. DID.tn is our website. It's in, uh, in uh, German, in English, and also in French. And the main website of the DID is, DID, is the link DID.de. And, DE, and um, um, this website is in English and also in German. Before I will have a closer look on your questions, I would like to show you here um, the save the date. So you get now lots of information from my side. And um, if you have then further questions, then there is a consultation via phone every Wednesday and every Friday, Fr uh, Wednesday in the afternoon and Friday morning and uh, the phone number is, um, is here, um, you can see it here on the slide. And um, there's also the possibility to call us via WhatsApp if you are not from Tunisia. There's also a um, uh, consulting in person every Thursday. And there are for, um, for this week still some appointments available and we will write you the link now from our um, system where you can book an appointment because it's not possible to come to our office without uh, booking an appointment and we um, have the um, the uh, um, the consultings in person we have it um, between every Thursday between 10 and 12 o'clock so if you are interested in it then fix an appointment and you're welcome to, to to come to us and we can show you all all the information you need there then I would like to, um, uh, to give you um, or to offer you two events, two coming events. First of all, it's the Falling Walls Lab. Falling Walls Lab, maybe you have already heard about it, but it's, an, um, it's a competition. It's, uh, it's a slam where you can, um, where you can present uh, an innovative idea. If you have an innovative um, uh, idea, in breakthrough idea and you want to present it to um, to a public then you can apply for this program um, we, the winner will then uh, get a ticket to berlin so you will uh, you, you will have then the possibility to take part in the final of the falling walls lab and um, i think it's a really great opportunity we will um, 
um, uh, will have the deadline um, by the end of um, deadline will be I've forgotten it. I think it will it it was it will be normally by the end of April, but I need to check it. I'm I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. And um, the next uh, event I would like to present is an online seminar that we will offer uh, regularly with a German university. Every two or three months, we offer an online seminar together with a German university where the German university could present herself. So the, the university um, present uh, the programs they have, uh, the location and could uh, answer all the questions about it. And the next online seminar will be with uh, the KIT, a very famous university in Germany, and it will be by the um, by May May sixteenth. And registration link will soon be be available through our website. So now I've spoken really so much, and I've seen that there are so much questions, and I will try to um, to answer a maximum of them. I'm I promise you. And meanwhile, you will also have the possibility to download um, the brochure we have prepared for you. Okay. Oh, there's a very, very long question. Oh, it's really a very long question. So I'll try, uh, I'll read it. So I'm applying for the 2022 winter session, the, uni uh, the university website says the application deadline for winter semester is from uh, May 17th to June 15th. Will be enough time to assess my application, apply for a visa and start by the beginning of the winter 2023. So no, there's no, not enough time. Yeah, yeah. So if Maybe you need to know. This is not our today's topic to to be honest, but okay, I'll I'll answer it because normally I I um, I um, I attend from you that you ask questions about the scholarship programs we have uh, offered. If you have questions about study in Germany, about visa, and so on, there are normally other um, opportunities. But just two words about it. Um, um, if you want to apply for a visa, to get a visa, you need to apply for it before. At the moment, there are uh, there is a duration, an attending list of um, uh, uh, approximately six months. So you need to wait six months. If you haven't applied for a visa, then you will not be able to attend or to apply uh, by the uh, by um, by the mid of May. It's not possible. Um, and for the other language uh, question, you need to write as an email. Then Nora, hello, thank you so much. Um, could you please share every single detail and the site of registration of the German Jordanian University Scholarship Program? So this program will be um, soon available on our website. Um, I think we will put it there in the next two three days. Then, Rashida, looking to learn about the available sessions for North Africa. Okay. Kindly clarify if residents of other countries are eligible to apply, although both countries of origin and residency are eligible. So it depends if you are uh, from another country, and uh, but you live, for example, in Tunisia or in uh, Morocco for a certain period, for at least uh, one year, and you have your, the center of your life in one of the Maghreb countries, then you are eligible to apply for it. Then Yasin, hello, thank you for your attendance and for the opportunity. Actually, I have a problem to sign into my application account to COSPI. And it's a common problem. I'm sorry, Yasin, I didn't understand you. You need to, um, to explain us more. What's your problem? You can call us tomorrow in the afternoon and talk to my colleague directly, or you send us an email with, uh, with more details. So I need to, to understand what is, what is this program, problem you have talked about. Um, then Jihan, should I apply uh, to the scholarship before or after I get my acceptance letter from the university? So Jihan, it depends on which program you, you are talking about now. Then Selma, 
the appointments are not open, it's impossible to take an appointment via TLS contact. Mm, I didn't understand it. Hmm? What? Okay, so, uh, but what what is it? It's not an issue about us. If you will get a scholarship, so our today's topic are the scholarships from the DAD. If you will get a scholarship from us, we will um, help you to get an appointment. So, um, if there are no uh, currently problems with TLS, I cannot give you any comment about it because we are not TLS, we are here the DAD. So, I'm sorry, I cannot help you here. Fedi, the embassy gave me a visa appointment in June, all visa questions. The embassy gave me a visa appointment in June, but by that dead date, some university may not provide me with the admission letter. What to do in this case? And it's possible to postpone uh, my appointment by at least a month or two. So I'm not the visa department. I'm really sorry. I cannot answer you if you can. Um, if you can postpone your appointment or not, I cannot talk in behalf of the of the German embassy. Um, yeah, but of course, if you will apply for for a visa, you will need either an admission letter or a conditional uh, admission letter. One of two documents are necessary. That's why if you will fix your appointment, you need to check first of all what documents are needed, you need to prepare them and so on. Then Martez, is this program eligible for engineering grads? So Martez, I'm sorry, I do not understand. We, we have presented you for about 20 different programs. I don't know uh, about which program you're talking here. Then Mohammed, if you go back, please. Mm -hmm. Safir, please tell me if I'm eligible to a DAD master degree scholarship. Uh, Safir, I do not know your profile. I, I can't answer such a, such a question. Ah, now we have here your profile. I'm 37 years old. I want to do a master degree in electronic and communication engineering in Munich University. Um, so maybe the program that could be interesting for you is the EPOS program, because this is the only program where you can apply and where, um, where the uh, working experience is needed. And I think if you are 37 years old now, uh, there should be some working experience and um, you need to check um, our portfolio from this program, because uh, in this program you offer for about 40 different programs in different fields and you need to check whether there is a program in electronic and communication engineering. I don't know it now. And I have a bachelor degree from Libya. Yeah, yeah. Um, what very graduates meaning for the Helmut Schmidt program? So it depends, but you need to have excellent grades, um, but there's not, um, there's not a cutoff, for example, it doesn't exist because we always um, have an individual look on the, uh, on the application. We have a look on your baccalaureate, your school living certificate. We have a closer look on the first degree, maybe a second degree if you have it. We see if there's a development. So there's not a, uh, uh, there's not a firm cutoff, but we, we have a closer look on the whole application. Then, uh, I've graduated in 2021. Am I eligible? It depends on which program uh, you want to apply for, but normally, yes, why not? Then we see, I'm a first year student st studying mathematics, physics uh, at the Preparatory Engineering Institute, and I would like to inquire about any available scholarship opportunities to pursue my, um, my engineering cycle. I would uh, uh, greatly appreciate any financial assistance, and thank you. Okay, so if you're in the first year, there are now no programs. There will be maybe a program when you will be in the second year, then you can apply for a summer course. You will need some German knowledge, and this is maybe a very great opportunity to get to know the German university system during this four, 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 four weeks. And this uh, could be uh, one uh, funding opportunity, second funding opportunity also in the future, 
will be when you will be in your last year, the program cost P in order to do your PFÖ at a German university. Then Hadeda, I'm an engineering student from Tunisia. I will get my diploma in electronics in September. Can I apply next year for a master degree? Um, yeah, you can apply for a master degree, but there's, uh, if I've well understood, there's no scholarship programs. We have seen the scholarship programs. I can show them to you once again. Um, tu peux me donner la main? Just, uh, just one moment. Okay. I will show you once again the overview we have seen. You have here the overview. And, um, um, and what was the question? I've lost my... Ah, ah, you wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna do in September a master degree. You can do it, but without scholarship, because you can see here the different scholarship programs we offer for master. There's not a program that could um, finance a whole engineering degree in the master level. So green hydrogen is a special program. COSPI is for engineers, but only for the PFÖ. The master DAF is a program for those who are learning German language. Um, PPGG is for those who want to do something in public policy and uh, good governance. We have the EPOS program. This is a program for the young professionals. And then we have the program in arts and architecture. So as you have seen, there's no scholarship programs, but of course you can apply for, uh, for, a, for, a, for a study program with your, with your own uh, means. This uh, rests possible. Then, uh, next question from Ahmed. I have a uh, high diploma in anesthesiology and a bachelor's degree in English. What is a high diploma? Okay, and a bachelor in English. I work in a hospital and I also work um, teaching. Okay, you're teaching. I would like to know the available specializations for studying for the appropriate master degrees for you. So your first degree was in English. So I do not understand high diploma, um, but I understand the bachelor's degree in English. So you want to do a master in English. It's possible. It's possible normally. You need to find a study program, but uh, not with a scholarship. Um, then, Maram, how can I apply? There's no link. Okay. We have shown you the link. It's funding-guide.de and we have written it several times um, on, on, in the chat. We can write it once again. Then, um, Nora, could you please share the sites of your application? We will give it to you immediately. Which PhD majors are covered? Not understand this question as well. Then, for all specialty, yes, it's for if if the question is if the PhD uh, program research grants we have seen here, for example, here um, research grants. This program is open to all fields. There is no restriction. If this was the question, um, then Hademi can. Graduate engineering students apply um, to the PhD directly without the master's degree. Normally, yes, but it should be answered by the German university where you want to do your whole um, um, PhD. Then, uh, Amri, I'm a student in the second preparatory year and uh, into a private faculty. I want to continue my studies abroad. Can I apply next year for an engineering degree? Um, you can apply for a bachelor degree because we do not have the preparatory course in Germany and the two years of preparatory course are not um, considered as, uh, so you will not get credits for it because it's not the same system. So you need to begin um, at, uh, at zero and do an engineering degree for, um, um, uh, with, in the first, uh, for, for, for the first degree, yes. Then Mohammed, I'm a first year student studying information technology. Can I apply for a scholarship? You can apply from uh, next year on for this for the for the scholarship program study courses. This one, um, if you have some German knowledge. 
Safia, I asked if there's an age limit. No, there's no age limit, but we have um, the model of the uh, career. It means that if you want to apply for a scholarship, the last degree should not be older than six years. This is always our condition. Um, Zinedine, no, bad internet connection. I'm sorry for this, but um, as I've said, we are recording this session and you will then have the possibility to see it once again in a couple of uh, days on our YouTube channel. Um, Rakhia, is it possible to share recording of the webinar? Yes, of course, Rakhia, the recording will be available in a couple of days. Um, Yasin asks about uh, details for the COSPI program. Um, my colleague will give you now the direct link of the online seminar we have offered um, now two weeks ago, I think. We offered you an online seminar with um, about um, about COSPI, where we have given all um, all the details you need, uh, all the details you need, and um, you will find uh, on this link also all the information. And the link is now available on our chat. Then next question. You've seen I've created an account and when I try to log into Cosby application, it gives me an error. Send us an email with a screenshot or contact directly our technical support. We will write you um, the email address of our um, technical support. It's portal at dard.de. Write in English or in German and they will help you. Because if there are technical problems, you, they need to be solved immediately, always with some screenshots. It's helpful. And um, we are not able to help you, but we can um, uh, address you to our colleagues from the technical support and normally they will be able to solve the problem. Then uh, Mahmoud, for the COSPI, last year students were asked the document that proves the internship will be recognized. Is this document not required this year? No, it's no more required. Um, but um, there is a form that you can download and uh, it, should be, um, it should be then signed by your uh, Tunisian supervisor. Then, why Libya is not included for the GH2 uh, programs? It's an European Union program and um, it is their decision that um, Morocco and Tunisia are available for this program. Sorry, I cannot answer you this. Then, Ahmed, does it depend on a bachelor's degree? And should I stick to the same major or do I have the freedom to choose in other specializations? I previously worked as a researcher with the World Health Organization as well as working in the health field and also teaching English. But I would like to know what is the best path. Maybe universities may accept it according to my studies. Yes, normally we offer in Germany consecutive master programs. Consecutive master programs mean that you need to do a bachelor degree in a certain field and you will continue then in a same field or at least in a similar field in the master level. So, but a firm answer could only be given by the German university you have chosen. But I can say, I can tell you that um, uh, the big majority of the master programs in Germany are consecutive master programs. Then Mohamed, why as the idea organization you don't have strong focus on Libya program? I hope um, that you can um, offer a special program for Libyan students. But all, almost all these programs you can see here are uh, also available for Libya. There's only the exception Green Hydrogen and COSPI, but all the other programs you can see on the slides are also available for Libya. So there is, um, there is not a special focus from the DAD, but um, these are the programs we offer and we are happy that we can offer them for all our countries, for Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, and also for Libya. Libya is a very important country for us. And maybe you know that we um, offer regularly online info sessions or seminars only for Libya or especially, especially for Libya. So there is a focus uh, from our side. Then Zinedine, is the Goethe B2 a good language skill? <laughs> yes, it's a good, I think it's a good level. And, um, and uh, the Goethe Institute is uh, of course a great uh, address if you want to learn German language, it's the best address uh, I, can, I can recommend in, in fact. 
then we check Erige. Euh, pourquoi Speak Comment contacter les mentors allemands pour valider le sujet du stage un par un jusqu'à ce que euh, l'un d'entre eux accepte de m'encadrer Oui, c euh, c on recommande ça, mais peut-être que vous avez vu que sur le formulaire qu'on a mis euh, à votre disposition, nous avons écrit « Proposed Project Title so, ». C'est une proposition, ce n'est pas un sujet fixe. Vous allez proposer quelque chose. Et c'est bien de contacter les, les, les encadreurs allemands, c'est bien de contacter les universités. Et si vous recevez une, une, une confirmation, c'est bien. Et si vous ne l'avez pas, ce n'est pas grave parce qu'après, on va faire le matchmaking. Bien sûr, les universités ou les encadreurs doivent vous accepter à la fin, mais euh, ce n'est pas un chaos si vous ne recevez pas une confirmation dès maintenant. Voilà And that was our last question. I have seen that there are still lots of questions and we unfortunately do not have the time to answer them. But I would like to write you now in the chat, first of all, our email address. Please send us an email. Send us an email and you will get uh, an answer as soon as possible. This is the first recommendation. Second recommendation is um, uh, come to our consultings. Um, this Thursday, there are still some appointments. Fix an appointment. Come to us if you are from Tunis, of course. If you are uh, in the capital of Tunisia, then you are more than welcome. Um, third point I would like to say, we offer twice a week a consultation via phone every Wednesday and every Friday. Just call us. You find here the phone number. Call us and ask your question uh, that we could not uh, answer now. I'm sorry for it. And um, last but not least, there will be also another online seminar, but only after the eight online seminar the 2nd May. We offer here our um, online consultings and normally they are not so full like today because today we had really lots of attendees and we are in this case, not able to answer all your questions. I'm really sorry for that. Um, but uh, when you attend the online consultings, we only have 10 or 12 attendees and it's really very, um, it's, it's, it's smoother, it's easier. Uh, we can also talk uh, in live and activate your microphone and so on. So, uh, I would like now to thank you for your um, time, for your interest. And for all your interaction, you can see here still some links available for you. And um, please don't forget to download the brochure we have put at your disposition. And um, please feel free to contact us again if there are still some questions we couldn't answer. I've um, told you now the different um, possibilities how you can contact us. And um, I would like to, uh, to thank my colleague for her technical support. And um, I wish you from now on a happy Aid. Aid is uh, not so far now. Happy Aid for you. And Shehe um, Taiba. Thank you. Bye bye.